Let's take another example. Z square minus 4Z minus 12. So because there is minus sign, identity 2 or 3 can be used. But to use identity 2 or 3, we need to have a perfect square, right? This is not having a perfect square. 4 is a perfect square, but not Z square. If it was 4Z square, we might be able to use identity 3 here. But it is Z only. So this entire term is not a perfect square and 12 is also not of a perfect square of any number. So we, can we use identity 4 here? But in identity 4 there were all plus signs. So how do we do it? We know from our integers chapter that we can write z square minus 4z minus 12 as nothing but z square plus we have broken 4z into z into 4 and we can actually write this thing as plus and we can take minus inside because plus into minus is nothing but minus. So 4z can be written as z into minus 4, right? And this minus became plus so that the expression value is same. Minus 4z, we can write it as minus z into 4 and then make it plus z into minus 4. Right? Because plus into minus is minus. And minus 12, same way, we can write it as plus into minus 12. So plus into minus is minus. And why we wrote it like this? So that plus comes here and we can use identity 4. Because identity 4 is all about x square plus x into a plus b plus a into b. Right? So seems like we can use identity 4 now because I am having plus 3 terms expression z is 1 x square so z is same as x plus x into a plus b so can we write a plus b as minus 4 and this as a b so can we think minus 4 in terms of a plus b that is break minus 4 in a way that we can get two numbers and it's a sum of these two and minus 12 as a product of the same two numbers? Let's give it a try. Yes, negative might be confusing you, but think pretty simple. We have taken this negative sign and moved it inside and added a plus sign so that plus into minus is minus. Same thing here. Now our goal is to apply identity 4 if we can come up with values a and b in such a way that a plus b is minus 4 and a into b is minus 12. Remember in identity 4 x square plus x into a plus b so this entire thing is a plus b plus a b so this is a b. So now let's try to guess the values of a and b. Always start with the product value because plus can be many, multiple options. Product are limited right so what are the factors of 12? We know 12 can be written as 1 into 12 or 2 into 6 or 3 into 4, right? So let's start with one of them. Say we started with a as minus 3 and b as minus 4 because we had a minus sign. So let's say we started with this. So what are we going to get a into b as minus 3 into minus 4? So minus into minus became plus and 3 into 4 became 12. So we got 12, but actually we need minus 12 here, right? a into b should be minus 12. Right? Minus 12. So this doesn't seem to be right value. And a plus b is giving us minus 3 plus minus 4. So plus into minus became minus. So minus 3 minus 4 became minus 7. And we required minus 4. So this doesn't seem to be the correct value. Right? Evenly if we make this thing as plus 3 into and this as minus 4, we are going to get plus 3 into minus 4 as minus 12 which is correct but plus 3 plus of minus 4 we are going to get minus 1 so it will still not be same as minus 4 so 3 and 4 seems to be not giving us the combination to reach this number right let's try another one again start with the product and which is 12 minus 12 and try to find its factor because it is negative it has to be a product of a positive number and a negative number. If both are negative, we'll, we are going to get product as positive. And if both are positive, we are going to get product as positive. 
but we need minus 12. So we have to think of two numbers, one of them negative, one is positive. So let's take 2 and 6 and we give minus 2 and 6. So if we do a into b, we are going to get minus 2 into 6, which is minus 12, correct? But if we do a plus b, we are going to get minus 2 plus 6, which is 4, whereas we need minus 4. a plus b should be minus 4. Remember this term, minus 4 we need. Right? So this doesn't seem to be the right value. What about if it is 2 and minus 6? Let's give it a try. A is 2 and B is minus 6. So 2 into minus 6 is minus 12. Positive into negative is negative. 2 into 6 is 12. And A plus B will be 2 plus minus 6. So plus into minus became minus. So 2 minus 6 is minus 4. Hooray! We got minus 12 as the product and minus 4 as the sum of these two. So these two seems to be the correct value of A and B. Right? So we found the correct values of a and b. Now let's try to use identity 4. So in first step, we did z square plus z into minus 4 plus minus 12. Remember, so that we can get plus here. In the second step, we tried to write minus 4 as sum of two numbers so that it is a plus b and minus 12 is a into b. So we got a as 2 and b as minus 6. Right? So this is a plus b and this is a into b. Remember children, always put brackets when it is negative integer added to something. So like 2 plus minus 6, don't write plus and minus together. Otherwise you will get confused. So write 2 plus bracket minus 6. So this looks like a and b is entire minus 6. a is 2 and b is minus 6, right? And now we can very easily use identity 4 where x is same as z, a is 2 and b is minus 6. So using identity 4, we get the answer as x plus a into x plus b, right? Where x is same as z, a is 2 and b is minus 6, right? So we write again a bracket here, z plus 2 into z plus of minus 6. b is entire minus 6, not just 6. Right? And we can further simplify this thing as z plus 2 into z minus 6 because plus into minus is minus. Right? So final answer is product of two factors. One of them is z plus 2 and another is z minus 6. So that's all in this lesson children. Bye bye.